Boy, I got to tell you, it's been a hard day and I'm hungry. What should we do about that? Let's find out next. Hey, Dave Edwards, Treasure Valley Dave here. And oh, hey, look, I got a fork. What do you suppose I'd use that for? Probably for eating. And where's a good place to eat here in the Treasure Valley? Let's just find out. Oh, hey, there's our website, treasurevalleydave.com. You guys should check that out. A lot of good stuff there. So this caught my eye. 20 of the Nampa and Caldwell's top rated restaurants for 2023. Hey, that's this year. So let's check out what they say is good. And I'll let you know my opinion too. Uh, da, 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 da. Here we go. <gasps> There's Brick 29. Check it out. So that's number one. So what's about Brick 29? Well, you can't see it actually. It's the third floor up here. And uh, you go in this door and then the person greets you and then you take the elevator up. Now the nice thing about Brick 29, the food is fabulous. The price is very reasonable. Basically really healthy, tasty food at a reasonable price. And then from the third floor, you have windows you can look out across the entire Treasure Valley. If you're you have you know some special occasion that um, you need to celebrate, Brick 29 is a fantastic place to go. You might want to make reservations, but for lunch, I've never had a problem getting in. So that was number one. Number two, ooh, Thailand Express. Been there for their Pad Thai, and uh, good. It's just a nice place. It's usually packed as heck, and maybe that's why they have the benches out front. But I would give it two thumbs up. Oh my goodness, this is the Tower Grill. So this is here in Nampa, and right up out here is where the runway is. So you can sit up here. This is where the outside is, but they also have an inside that you can be eating your breakfast or your lunch, and you could look out, and you can watch the planes come in and take off. You might get lucky, and there'll be some old timers in there, some old pilots, and they're talking and telling stories. Uh, there's memorabilia on the walls. And the price is great, and the food is great. It's just a real nice place. Hey, Dino and Cameron, remember when we went there? That's pretty good, huh? Burger Theory. Um, I've only been there once, and it was okay. I've got to say, I got kind of burnt out on burgers. I used to work at Wendy's. I had my share of burgers. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. You understand, yeah? Oh, the Egg Factory. Yep, this is the one over on the boulevard, right I don't know, within a third of a mile from my office here, we've got another egg factory. It's the same people. And uh, the food's good. We just ate there recently with, um, wow, it's like so many people we've taken there. Oh, I know. It was Steven. It was his birthday. Dang. Happy birthday, Steven. Oh, that was fun. Nampa Egg Factory. So have you noticed the ones that we've talked about so far? I mean, we're already down to number five. Those are all local chains, uh, mom and pop restaurants. They're not some national chain. And then we get to uh, Texas Roadhouse, and that's obviously a national franchise. And you know, it's good. I, I mean, their little buns with that little cinnamon butter, pff, it's pretty good stuff. And then the next one, back to one of these mom and pop type operations, LeBaron's Honkers Cafe, right there. Um, this is in downtown Nampa just uh, two blocks over from the farmer's market, right across this kitty corner from like the library complex. Um, it's, if you're out just walking around, there's some thrift stores in the area. It's a great place just to pop in and get a cup of coffee. And I had a cinnamon roll, I think the last time I was there. Um, oh yeah, I saw uh, Sandy there. Hi Sandy, oh, that was a good meal. Funny enough, right across the street from there is the little Saigon Vietnamese restaurant. Um, Mrs. Treasure Valley Dave and I went there recently. Gosh, I do eat out a lot, don't I? Um, and it was good food. Pretty good food, huh? Okay, another national chain, so that makes, what, two so far? The Olive Garden. And, you know, Carp Central right there. It tastes good. It fills a need. And here's another one of those small places. This is Jalapeno's. They got some really good food there. And um, Frida, you remember when we went there? Yeah, and Celeste, and then that's when we met Bob and Donna. They have some good food there. Okay, now we're back over in Caldwell. So this is Mr. V's. Um, 
Oh, hey, Dana and Robin, remember that? We went there? Ah, that was good. Um, gosh, if I'm not mistaken, Ginny and Steve, we went there too, didn't we? So they have some stuff that's not on the menu. Like they have uh, their chicken pot pie that sometimes they have it, but it's not on the menu. And if they have it, it's definitely worth getting. And, oh, so this is to the uh, west of Caldwell slash Nampa there on Sunny Slope. This just if you're standing out there, you just look down the road and you can see Lizard Butte. If that kind of gives you an idea where it's at. And so this is the uh, Orchard House. Um, it looks over the Snake River Valley. It's very nice. The food is good. Get the pretzel and then that dipping sauce. Um, Bob and Donna, you have to remind me what that dipping sauce was. But I remember it was good. And um, there's such good people there. Every time I go there, oh, it's fantastic. Let's see. Oh, the Hamburger Connection. So there's really no place to sit there except for these tables outside. And in the summer, you don't want to do that. But you can go in there and you can stand and you can have it. And then usually there's cart. Well, let's see, there's one right there. Cards are backed up for this place. They've got good hamburgers. Fries are great. But it's their shakes that they're probably best known for. They you go in there and get their huckleberry shakes. Oh, it's great. And it's right across from the library. So you can go over there and buy some used books or something like that. It's pretty nice. Um, hamburger Connection, definitely. Another mom and, top, mom and pop place. So here's a, a mono. This is newer, and you know what? I have not been there yet. So when you come up here, remind me, and we'll go there for a nice lunch because I need to check it out. I need to have the information. And Idaho Pizza Company. Um, they have uh, Idaho Pizzas. It's a local chain that they have in quite a few places. Um, we have one that's, again, just very close to here, not even a half a mile away that um, we go to. Oh, and then I met... Robert and Jennifer there. Oh my gosh, that was fun. Well, I didn't mean Jennifer. I met Robert there. <laughs> oh, and then I saw uh, Mandy there. Jeff and Mandy. They were enjoying. Oh, then I saw Tim. Man, I see everybody there. And Chop Shop Barbecue. Now, I know Steven's been there, but I haven't been there yet. So when you come up, there's another place. Remind me, I need to check it out, you know, for scientific purposes only. Sunrise Cafe, this is very nice. I've always enjoyed going there. I don't go there all that much, probably because the uh, egg factory is just right here. Um, but it's a good place to go. Okay, so this is a just uh, on 5th, just down from downtown Caldwell. And this is so good. Sylvia, do you remember when you took me there? Is this where we went? Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. And... Grit 2C. I saw Tom there. Oh my gosh. And then uh, Sergio. We went there too, right? I have some pretty good food. And last but not least, Indian Creek. I mean, everybody knows about Indian Creek restaurant and steakhouse. They have the state's largest dance floor. Um, they're always doing stuff. The food's good. Um, I tell you what, this is in downtown Caldwell. You walk by there, you'll instantly get hungry. There's no question about that. <laughs> Those are 20 good places, almost all of them. A vast majority of them are, you know, local chains, local mom and pop places, just a couple of national franchises in there. Why is that? Well, you can see my video on, you know, having a small business here in the area. It's a whole lot different than maybe where you're from right now. Sorry about that. So anyway, thanks for coming along. Gosh, I'm hungry now. I need to go do something about that. And uh, check out our website. If you like this video, um, hit like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. That means so much. And well, until next time, it's Treasure Valley Dave. Looking forward to helping you get home and out to lunch. <laughs>